about proof by induction and summing series. Let's start with part A. It asks us to prove by induction that the sum from r is 1 to n of r cubed is a quarter n squared n plus 1 squared. Now, a proof by induction is very uh, formulaic. I'm going to split the page in half so we can get everything on the page. First step is to write down your proposition. So your proposition. Well, your proposition is just to say that the sum from r is 1 to n of r cubed is a quarter n squared n plus 1 all squared. Now, I find that handy to write that down just so I can keep track of in my head what I'm trying to show. Step uh, 2, you check the basis case. Now, the basis case is when n is equal to 1. So you let n be 1. Now, the left-hand side here, the sum from r is 1 to 1 of r cubed would simply be 1 cubed, which is 1. The right-hand side would be a quarter, 1 squared, 1 plus 1, all squared, okay, which would end up being a quarter times 1 times uh, 4, which would again be 1. Therefore, the proposition is true for n is 1. Okay, step three, you do the assumption step. So we're on the assumption step. You assume that the proposition is true for n is k. So write that. Assume true for n is equal to k. Okay, and when you do that, um, you write down what that means. So you're saying, I'm assuming that the sum from r is 1 to k, this time I'm letting n be k, of r cubed must be a quarter k squared k plus 1 squared. So k squared k plus 1 all squared. Okay? Now what I'm going to try and show is I'm going to try and show that the proposition is also true for k plus 1. So this is my aim. This is not part of my proof. My aim is to actually show that the sum from r is 1 to k plus 1 of r cubed is actually... Um, this formula here, but with n is k plus 1, so is a quarter k plus 1 squared k plus 2 all squared. That's my aim. Okay? So let's see if I can actually show that. Let's go back to my blue pen. So step 4 is the inductive step. And in this step, you let n equal k plus 1. You let n be k plus 1. So you are considering <coughs> the sum from r is 1 to k plus 1 of r cubed. Now the only thing you can do here is you can split this up in the sum from r is 1 to k because you know something about that from your assumption step. So you're going to split it in the, from the sum from 1 to k of r cubed plus the k plus 1 term which would be what happens when you put k plus 1 in, in here and you get k plus 1 all cubed. <clears throat> now, from your assumption step, this sum here is given by this formula. So this sum here is given by a quarter k squared k plus 1 all squared. And we can add in our k plus 1 cubed, k plus 1 cubed as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy this up here and show that it's equal to what I was aiming at. Now, students might be tempted to expand out. Never, ever expand out. Firstly, factorise. Now, take out a factor of a quarter. Take out a factor of k plus 1 squared, because it's in both of these. So, k plus 1 squared. What would you be left with here? Will you be left with k squared? What would you be left with here? Will you be left with a k plus 1? But also, you've divided out by a quarter, so 1 divided by a quarter is 4. So you'd actually be left with 4k plus 1. Now, if you keep, uh, if you tidy up the inside bracket then, you would get yourself in here k squared plus 4k plus 4. So you would get k squared plus 4k plus 4. And if you think, can I factorise that? Well, yes, it factorises really nicely for you. It will factorise to a quarter, k plus 1 squared, same as before, but this factorises to k plus 2 all squared. And if you look up here in your aim,
that was exactly what you were trying to show in your aim, so you have shown the inductive step. And step five, don't forget your conclusion to get your full marks. And in your conclusion, I've run out of space to write it, but you write here, I have proved it's true for n is 1. I've shown if it's true for n is k, then it's true for n is k plus 1. Therefore, it is true for all n bigger than or equal to 1. You must write exactly as this in that last step. 6 part b, it says using your result in part a, show that the following is true. Well, what you're supposed to do here is not do an induction. You're just supposed to split this sum up in the, from the sum is uh, from 1 to n of r cubed. Subtract two lots of the sum from r is 1 to n of 1. Okay, just splitting this sum up here. Now from part a, you know what this is. This is a quarter, n squared, n plus 1 squared. You know that. And you should know that the sum of 1 between 1 and n is n. So this here must be subtract 2n. Now let's factorise. We know how we're going to factorise this. We're going to take out a quarter and we're going to take out an n. What would we be left with here? Well, we'd be left with n, n plus 1, all squared. And here, 2 divided by a quarter is 8 and the, and the n goes. So we'd be left with subtract 8. Now the aim of the game is just to expand out this bracket here. And if you do that, step by step, you do get n cubed plus 2n squared plus n and then you still have your subtract A, and you've got exactly what you wanted in the question. Now part C, it says, calculate the exact value of this. Well, what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to break this sum from 20 to 50 of R cubed subtract 2. You're supposed to break that up in the sum from R is 1 to 50 of R cubed subtract 2. Subtract the sum from R is 1 to 19. Uh, of r cubed subtract 2 because the sum from 20 to 50 is the sum from 1 to 50 take away the sum from 1 to 19 and we can just use what we did in part b this formula here we, we know that the sum from 1 to n of, of r cubed minus 2 well we know it's given by this a quarter n n cubed plus 2 n squared plus n minus 8 so all we have to do is substitute uh, 50 in here so it'd be a quarter 50 and here We'd have 50 cubed plus 250 squared, so 50 cubed plus 2 times 50 squared uh, plus 50 minus 8 plus 50 subtract 8. That would be that sum, and we'd be subtracting a quarter 19, 19 cubed plus 2 times 19 squared plus 19 subtract 8. So all we'd be doing is working that out on our calculator, and if you do that, which I'm just doing now, you get yourself one million five hundred and eighty nine thousand four hundred and sixty three, and then you've got the correct answer for three marks.